This afternoon, the Texas Senate voted unanimously for a bill designed to make public schools safer. And much of the support behind this bill is coming nearly one year after a gunman unfortunately killed 19 students and two teachers at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. Political reporter Jack Fink speaking today with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick about school security and the other priority bills this session. The state senate is increasing the amount of money spent on school security from $600 million to about $1.5 billion. After the Uvalde tragedy, Governor Abbott ordered new safety audits at each school campus, and those would now become part of state law under this bill. The legislation would also give the Texas Education Agency new authority to make sure school districts are complying with the regulations. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick tells me parents and educators need to do their part. We don't have 8,000 inspectors to go to every school, so they have to, they have to use the funding wisely as we recommend, and we will, and the TEA will hold them accountable. No, look, every superintendent, every principal, every teacher wants to do their very best to save and protect their children, but we have to take this seriously. School security is one of the Senate's top 30 priorities, and the lieutenant governor says most will have passed the Senate this week. But will they pass the House before the legislative session ends Memorial Day weekend? And I am concerned the clock will run out on getting them all accomplished, but I just don't know which ones may not uh, make the deadline. Parents matter when it comes to educating our kids. Regarding another priority, the lieutenant governor praised Governor Abbott's statewide tour, including a stop at Nolan Catholic High School in Fort Worth this afternoon, to push for school choice and taxpayer-funded savings accounts for some public school students to attend private schools. The Senate passed its bill earlier this month, but the House passed an amendment in its budget that no tax dollars will be used for what critics call school vouchers. Still, Patrick told me he isn't giving up on the House. I'm very optimistic, more than I've ever been in the House, that we may get a school choice bill out from them. I don't know what it will look like. We'll have to go to conference and, and work it out. But I'm optimistic because that vote, when you look at the technical side of the vote, it's, it's much closer to happening than ever before. But we'll see what happens. The lieutenant governor also repeated his push for the Senate's bill to lower property taxes, which raises the homestead exemption. He said it's a better plan than the House bill, which would lower the cap on how much property appraisals can go up each year from 10 to 5 percent. We know there's a lot of other proposed legislation on the table here. Can you talk to us about the process and where those are in the process as well? Well, there's a lot going on at the Capitol right now, and the House passed a bill that would preempt some local ordinances and make regulations more consistent from city to city. The Senate will likely approve the measure as well. The House will vote on its school security bills next week. There are some minor differences with the Senate's version, and that will have to be hammered out between both chambers. And there have been bills to legalize casino gambling and sports betting in Texas, but it's all but dead in the Senate. Lieutenant Governor Patrick told me there are only two senators supporting sports betting and none for casino gambling. They need 18 votes in the Senate to bring legislation to the floor. We will post the full interview on our website, CBSNewsTexas.com, a little Little later. I think we've, we? been, we've been talking about gambling here for like 50 years we now. We really have. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not happening. Happen. No. Jack Fink with all things politics. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yep.